The 21 year old former executive assistant is now facing second degree murder charges for the grizzly crime. Police say he owed a large amount of money to his boss, Fahim Saleh. Saleh was decapitated and dismembered in his $2 million apartment on the Lower East Side. How would news reporter Josh Einiger is live at the 7th Precinct where the suspect just left? Josh. Well, Liz, as Fahim Saleh's executive assistant, Tyrese Haspel, according to police sources, had access to a credit card paid by his boss. And sources say he used that card as he shuttled around town to work to destroy the evidence, leaving a trail of digital breadcrumbs that led cops right to him. His clothes impounded by the crime scene unit, Tyrese Haspel shuffled from the 7th Precinct in a Tyvek suit and said nothing as detectives led him to central booking. Earlier this week, cops say he expressed himself plenty with a power saw. And Mr. Haspel was Mr. Salee's executive assistant and handled his finances and personal matters. It is also believed that he owed the victim a significant amount of money. Police sources say the victim, Fahim Saleh, had texted with Haspel about $100,000 the 21-year-old personal assistant allegedly stole from his boss. On Monday, surveillance video captured Haspel using a taser to incapacitate Saleh as they exited the elevator into Saleh's condo. That's when police say Haspel stabbed him to death and later used a card paid by his boss to take a car service to Home Depot where he bought an electric saw and cleaning supplies with the same card. The next day, he returned to the Houston Street apartment to dismember the body, but was interrupted when a member of Saleh's family came to check on him and walked in on the gruesome sight, an obvious attempt to destroy the evidence. I kind of heard a wailing and screaming, uh, and I just heard he has no head. I think people have moments of distress in their life, but I don't think people have like moments of grief like that. That was real grief. Haspel's headed to central booking now. He's charged with second-degree murder. He'll be arraigned later tonight.